Good morning guys, it is Tuesday today and I have just got ready, I've curled my hair, in fact I actually used the new GHD tong, actually, I don't think it's new but it's new for me um, and really like it, it's given like a really lovely bouncy wave. Uh, I did straighten the ends because personally I just prefer the way my hair looks with the ends straightened um, but yeah really like the way it's, it's made my hair look this morning although I washed it last night slept on it a little bit damp and then it kind of looks a bit dull this morning you know when you sort of think normally when I wash my hair in the morning it gets a nice shine to it and I feel like today it looks a little bit a little bit dry and also how dark is my hair now I've had so many like comments on recent videos saying like oh like you've had your hair done I love how dark it is or you've gone dark no I just haven't been to the hairdressers in ages and so my roots have grown to the point of no return <laughs> um anyway enough hair talk uh, you can probably see behind me that i have got some dresses some very pink floral spring dresses hanging behind me and a little jumper um i've got busy day today and this morning i am going to be um shooting an instagram post for Victor and Roll Flower Bomb and for like Fragrance Direct. So I pulled out some outfits that I thought kind of suited the perfume. Um, I'll just quickly show you what I pulled out. You may recognize a couple of these from an ASOS dresses video I did last spring, I think, last spring, summer. Um, and I ended up keeping quite a few of them because they were just honestly so many beautiful dresses in that video. Um, but this was one of them and, oh, this is just the most beautiful dress ever. When someone gets married, I will be wearing this to their wedding. I feel like that is like the perfect summer wedding guest dress. Um, but yeah, absolutely beautiful. So I thought that might be quite nice because it's only going to be, the picture's only, only going to be cropped. So you'll probably just see about that much. Um, and then if not, I just pulled out this simple jumper because I thought just like a nice pink jumper. Um, well, I say jumper, like little top. Uh, behind that is another floral dress. This was also in that ASOS video that I did last spring. Um, and again, I haven't had a chance to wear that yet. I haven't worn either of the floral ones. These two um, were actually, I think that one, you may recognize this is the dress I wore when Lou and I got engaged, um, which will always be very, I don't know, you kind of like, it makes something feel more special, doesn't it? When you can kind of attach a memory to it. Um, and then the one behind it I also wore when we were on holiday as well. In fact, that needs cleaning. But I thought, I don't know, I thought maybe either of them two might be quite simple. But I may actually pop to Tesco's or Marks and Spencer's because I'd quite like to get a big bunch of flowers for the photograph, for the picture. Um, I thought like a nice big bunch of like pale pink roses or like a mixed bunch of paley pastel flowers would look beautiful. Okay, so I've just popped the first dress on and of course I went for this one, although I have got it on with jeans and slippers underneath, so it's not really doing it justice. Um, but like I said, I'm cropping in. Um, although I did fake tan this morning. I put on like a instant, not instant, but you know one of the ones that's got the guide color and it can sometimes look a little bit dirty I think when it first goes on so I'm very conscious that it might look a bit patchy um, and actually I might change up my lipstick and put something a li little bit pinkier on what do we think maybe like a nice kind of pale pinky nude or I might just go over this with a little bit of like pinky gloss um, but yeah I am um, I just love this dress I love it I know you can't see it properly on but I absolutely love it um, so I'm gonna try and see how see how we get on with just this dress like this as maybe like a a selfie let's try it is sunny today i have been taking full advantage oh that's bright i don't know if i'm gonna be able to sit there i have been taking full advantage of the sunlight and it is beautiful um i have just finished no i'm not gonna be able to sit here let me just shuffle back oh what's going on why can't i get away from the sunlight let me shuffle back. Oh, okay, that's better. Oh, it's such a beautiful, beautiful sunny day today. Honestly, it makes such a difference, especially when I'm shooting content like 
for Instagram like shooting images it makes such a difference when there's natural light coming in and I love using like the little blinds in here to make, make a nice sort of light coming in. Um, I have just finished shooting the pictures and I ended up not going to Tesco's in the end because I thought I would try and see how I got on just with the dress and the perfume like keeping it really simple I thought maybe a bunch of flowers one side and the flower the other and the perfume the other side might have got a bit messy that was just my excuse anyway I was thinking actually my nearest Tesco's is like 20 minutes away and I just was being a bit lazy and I thought while the sun was here I wanted to make the most of it um but anyway I have just finished photographing it and I think it's come out really nicely I'll show you some of the pictures so as you can see I, well, I'll go back to the ones I started with. Okay, so I started with these like standing up ones um, and kind of like some selfies, a bit more like that. Um, I quite liked this one. I got that kind of one, which I thought was quite nice because it did show off the dress. Oh, the dress is over the phone. <laughs> Showed off the dress quite nicely. Um, and then I did some more like close up ones afterwards and I thought they looked really pretty as well. Like the natural light coming in. So I ended up taking quite a few of these. I mean, obviously, there's some good ones and some bad ones as well. Um, but I thought what I might do, I just like this way with the sun's hit my highlighter. Wonderful. But I thought what I might do is um, maybe kind of put three pictures together. So like a close up one. I did, I did try spraying it on my neck in one of them um, and it just didn't work. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I thought I might do like one close-up one and then one bit more sort of like this one and then one also a bit more like an actual selfie, maybe something like that and put the three together. Um, so yeah, I'm really pleased with how they've come out. I know obviously I haven't edited edited them yet. I need to kind of like, I won't like retouch them or put a filter on or anything, but just kind of change the lighting a little bit and brighten bits up and change the contrast and things like that just to make them look good and then I will send them over for approval this afternoon I think and then maybe even pop them up either tonight or tomorrow oh also the post is like a giveaway as well so um hang on sorry I am loving the light but it's not loving me <laughs> um the post is a giveaway as well to win a bottle of flower bomb as well so that will be up over on my Instagram so if you did want to enter that giveaway then head over to my Instagram I'll pop on the screen it's just at model mouth um and that should be up either today or tomorrow actually this video about it should already be up by the time this video goes up so I will pop my Instagram in the description um, but anyway I'm gonna get changed I'm gonna get out of this beautiful dress that hopefully I will be able to wear properly one day soon um, and I'm gonna pop my jeans back on actually I say pop my jeans back on <laughs> I've still got my jeans on I'm gonna pop my shirt back on um, and I've got quite a few deliveries that came yesterday and a few bits arriving today so I'll do a, like a little um, unboxing in a bit. I've just got changed out of the dress and I thought while it was nice and bright and sunny I would try and get a few more Instagram pictures shot. So I have pulled out these bits. These I actually, they arrived yesterday or maybe the day before yesterday from River Island. I'm working with them as well on some Instagram content and they had sent over like a line sheet to select some items from it's, it's usually like they'd sort of narrowed down some items they wanted to promote so I, and then I could select from that selection of what I like the look of anyway I went for a bit of a risky one in fact I've got a safe outfit and a risky outfit that I wouldn't normally go for but I really like the look of it and I kind of thought on the line sheet that they'd sent over the outfits weren't on a model so it was quite hard to tell whether or not it would work or not. So anyway I said I would, I would try both and see which one works out. So outfit number one is this lilac um, little jacket and I think I love it. I haven't tried it on yet. It's kind of quite it sort of reminds me like almost like a little vintage Chanel jacket. It's in that sort of tweedy kind of fabric. Um, and matching shorts. So I'm going to pop that on first of all and see how that looks on. Um, yeah, don't really know if it'll be a bit much worn together. I think this would look really cute with like a white t-shirt and jeans. Um, but I thought as a set coming into spring, like I thought it might look really cute. So I'm going to try that on first. And if not, as a safe option, I have just got a pair of black skinny jeans. These are the Haley jeans, like high-rise black skinny jeans. And then 
this which is like a little cropped waistcoat over the top of a long skirt a, a long white shirt which i feel like i've been wearing a lot of recently or kind of like seeing a lot of recently so i think that's a bit too much of a safe option because i've i featured things similar to that recently i'm hoping the jacket and the shorts work i'm gonna try it on and see how it looks okay what do we think <laughs> i am still undecided now i've got it on i think it doesn't help that my pasty little legs need fake tanning so they just look a little bit insipid hanging out the bottom <laughs> um but i do think it's beautiful like it feels really lovely quality on it feels more expensive than what it was um, and I do think it's kind of like really cute and preppy but I just don't know if it's me maybe I might try it with a white like cami or vest top tucked into the shorts underneath and wear the jacket done up um undone and see if that works actually do you know what I'll take a few pictures on my phone quickly just to see how it looks in a photograph like this and then I'll try it on with a cami underneath and if that doesn't work then I'll style it with a t-shirt and jeans maybe Be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like a wandered off into a room i've just stopped for some lunch and i'm having a bowl of soup and a herbal tea um this soup i say soup it's very thick i made it the other day and i probably could have added a bit more water um but it is um carrots celery onions and garlic chopped up um, obviously, <laughs> and then two tins of tomato and some stock cubes, lentils and water. And it's actually pretty good. It's really like nice and kind of hearty and filling. So I'm going to get this down me and then crack on with the day. Even though I wanted to, I should be trying something new, but now my body's aching. I just finished my lunch and it was blooming lovely. I feel very full and satisfied. Um, and delivery drivers has been and I have had a few packages arrive from Amazon. So I thought I'd open them now. I am working with Amazon, by the way. Um, I actually worked with them on a video a few months ago, I think it was, um, for their fashion, for Amazon fashion. And I ordered some gorgeous bits loads of you loved that blazer in fact let me show it to you if you haven't seen it yeah this blazer i swear so so many of you messaged me about this um but it had sold out really quickly but i did see there are a few back in stock a couple of weeks ago i think it was so if it's available again now i will leave a link below um, but yeah, I got that from Amazon just before Christmas, I think it was, and it is an absolutely beautiful blazer. Um, anyway, I've ordered a few more bits from Amazon Fashion, um, and actually I think a couple of home bits as well, but mostly fashion bits. Um, so I thought I would have a little look and then I will try some of the bits on with you guys, as I usually do. So what have we got in here? Okay, so, oh, what's this? Start with this one, because we've got a little individually wrapped one in there. Everything will be linked below, by the way, as usual, and my sizes will be down there as well. Um, oh, oh, masks. Yes, I ordered some face masks, not very exciting, but I ordered a pack of, a pack of five face masks. I think it was literally like five of, uh, oh no, it was six for five pounds or six for six pounds, something like that. They were really reasonable. So I ordered some of those. Let's have a quick look, see what they're like. Not the most exciting start to the order, but very practical. Oh, okay, so they're really like lightweight. They're almost like a little bit, a little bit foamy. Um, but yeah, just very simple kind of like black face masks. Um, I just think that I need these for in my car for when I forget them, so I thought I'd order some more, basically. Um, so, I ordered a couple of different bralas. I don't know about you guys, but I have not worn a bra <laughs> in such a long time. I'm literally living in bralas these days, and I saw quite a few different options on Amazon, so I thought I would try some out. So the first one I ordered, I didn't actually realise this was lacy at the back. I thought it was just kind of like nude, seam-free. 
Um, but this is the first one I ordered. It's kind of like, yeah, a seam-free nude bra. It's actually quite similar to the one I'm wearing at the moment, which is from Everlane, <laughs> flashing you. Um, but they're kind of like, just like crop tops really, super comfortable, although this one has got an adjustable bit at the back. Um, it feels so, so soft and it's double lined as well. I might pop it on and show it to you on, but I got that in a size small. Um, and yeah, just feels really nice, practical and perfect for underneath like white shirts in spring, summer. Um, and then this one's a little bit more sexy. Um, this one's a little Calvin Klein bralette. Oh, I like that. It's just a super simple black triangle Calvin Klein bralette. And if I hold a bit closer, you can see at the bottom, it says Calvin Klein, but like in a black band. Um, this was really reasonable. I think it was under 20 pounds. Um, I ordered this in a size small. Um, and yeah, I just thought that was a really handy, practical little bralette. And then I ordered, one more, I think it must be in that box actually, so I'll, I'll come to that one in a minute. Um, some leggings, this is a very practical order from Amazon actually, these are the things that I'm wearing the most at the moment. Black leggings, these had really really good reviews, um, god they feel super super thick, they feel like proper thick supportive like workout leggings. Um, they've just got a tiny little bit at the back. They, I think they're supposed to be for like yoga or for running. Um, yeah, they've got like a little pocket for your phone at the back. Um, but they feel really, really lovely quality. Just a very simple black legging. And like I said, they had brilliant reviews. So I thought I would try those out as well. Obviously, I'll pop them on in a minute. Um, loungewear, because again, we are loving loungewear at the moment. And I saw this set and thought it just looked right up my street. It's just a super simple grey long sleeved jumper, like not jumper but like a fine knit top. In fact it's so so soft. Oh that's really nice. Um, and I actually got it in a size extra small. I thought I'd got small but no I got extra small. Yeah extra small and then the matching bottoms as well that are cuffed at the bottom. This is the style of loungewear that I wear like just in the evenings after I've had a shower, it's so cozy to put on and it's kind of like nicer than pajamas, but you could still nip out in it, but you feel like you've got the comfort of pajamas. Um, and this also comes in like a light gray. I think there was a lilac. I think there might have been a black as well. Um, I'll leave this one linked below and then when you click on that, you can see all the different color options as well. Next up are some jeans and I ordered some blue Levi's. Amazon have got a huge selection of Levi jeans, like all different colours, black, wash black, bleach, white. Um, but I thought this wash was absolutely gorgeous and so, so nice for coming into spring summer. I thought it was just such a lovely, bright blue. Um, they, looked, they just look like really classic Levi jeans. I got them in a waist 26 length 30. They are like a slightly cropped jean, which I thought would be lovely with like trainers or loafers in spring. Um, and yeah, I will see how they look on. Okay, next up, I have ordered another pair of sunglasses, but it is a beautiful sunny day, so we can excuse it. Um, but I saw these. If you saw my um, Mango vs Zara video last week or the week before last, um, I had on a pair of black Marc Jacobs sunglasses and honestly I got so so many messages about them because they had sold out basically and lots of you were asking me if I could recommend a good alternative or I'd seen where else sold them. Anyway, I saw these Ray-Bans on Amazon and they were reduced from I think 120 to 60. They were literally half price and they looked like the identical shape to my Marc Jacobs ones. So I thought I would try them out, show you guys. I mean, I can never have too many sunglasses. I absolutely love my sunglasses, especially coming into spring, summer. Um, and they are really nice, aren't they? They're really nice. They're such a nice shape. I love, like, I love that my Ray-Ban rounds, absolutely love them, but I think these can look really cool as like a good alternative, especially when you cannot be bothered to do makeup and you just want a dark pair of sunglasses. Um, so yeah, 
I really like them. I will leave them linked below because I feel like they are such a bargain. Um, but again, Amazon have got so many Ray-Bans for such good prices. Like so many of them are almost half the price or a lot less than what you would pay elsewhere. Okay, let's get into this package. Oh, okay, these are a couple of home bits that I ordered from Amazon. Um, so, I don't know what these are going to be like. They are um, some faux eucalyptus plants leaves. Um, they actually look really, really nice in the picture. And I thought they came as a pack of six. I feel like they definitely need kind of like fluffing out and playing with a little bit, like arranging, so a little bit bent. And obviously the stems are as well. Um, but I think they look like they're a really nice shade of green. And I thought in a nice glass vase in the living area, like maybe on the dining table, they would look really nice. So I will, I'll play around with those and I'll arrange them in a minute and put them in a vase. And then the other home purchase I made is this book, Eat, Drink, Nap. Um, I had seen, I'm going to open this actually. I'd just seen this on home accounts on Instagram um, and I'd had it on like my like list on Amazon for a while and I thought I would order it. I bought these bits separately by the way, the um, eucalyptus plants and the book. These aren't part of like the collaboration or anything but I can't shop on Amazon without making some sort of home purchase. Um, so this is the Soho House book and I think it's got um, some recipes in there and like some home content. Um, oh, sticky toffee pudding. Oh, Lou will love that. Um, I thought it would actually look really nice up on the kitchen shelf as well, because I wanted like some books up there, but that kind of tied in with the neutral aesthetic. Um, oh, fish and chips, lovely. So yeah, so it's like I've got recipes in there and then like some home content as well. Oh, that's really lovely. Um, and it says 30 pounds on the back, but I think I paid about 22 for it, which I thought was a good price. So yeah, I'll leave that link below. It's just kind of got a fabric sort of almost linen cover to it. Then this is the final package from Amazon. And I think this is, yeah, this is another bralette. Um, this is just a plain black Calvin Klein bralette. And again, this was such a good price. It was, I think it was 20 pounds and they're normally 30 something. No, I haven't got the price on it, but it was about £20. And they also had, I've ordered a couple of thongs, but they're not coming until the weekend, but the thongs were £8 or £8 something, maybe eight fifty. but they're normally about £20, I want to say, for the thongs. I don't know, but a lot more. Anyway, this was super, super reasonable. Um, and again, like I said, I'm living in them, so I just cannot have too many bralettes at the moment. Okay, so the first thing that I've put on are the Levi jeans, and they are a really nice pair of jeans. Like, they fit me on my legs and my thighs and my bum really nicely. They're such a lovely shape. Like, they sit at the perfect place on my back, um, and they're just a really nice shape. They feel really comfortable on. The only annoying thing is, is that they are a little bit long for me. So obviously they are the original cropped ones, um, but I have popped a loafer on one foot and a trainer on the other, just to show you. Well, I've obviously folded them up on one side. Um, I think they look, <laughs> if I just move that leg out of the way, I think they look all right folded up once, but when they're down with trainers, they're just like a bit of an awkward length. So I think I might need to change them. I think because I normally go for 26-32 in denim, I thought that 26-30 in a cropped would be okay. But I think I need the 26-28 in these. And then they'd be perfect. So I'm going to swap them over. Because apart from that, I think they're a really, really lovely pair of jeans. I love all like the brown stitching on the bottom and then like the little brown tag at the back like the classic Levi's branding on them um yeah I think they're a lovely lovely pair of Levi's like really really nice and like I said super comfortable but just a little bit long so I am going to be sizing down in them oh and also I've got the sunglasses on my head if I just pop them on again um so you can see them properly in the mirror I just think they are a really really nice pair of like simple classic 
black sunglasses. Okay, this is the loungewear set on and this is so, so comfortable. It feels so soft and lightweight. Like, it's just lovely. It's definitely a bit of me. I'm definitely keeping this. I think it was around 20 pounds as well. So an absolute bargain set. Oh, I have just realized it hasn't got pockets. <laughs> I literally just went to do that, um, which is a shame, but I mean, that's me being fussy, but it does feel like nice and streamlined on the legs. Um, I've just popped it on with slippers because obviously this is how I will wear it at home. Um, but I also think you could pop a leather jacket over the top with trainers as well and have it as like a just a nice kind of track so you could definitely wear this to the supermarket or nipping out and about um yeah i like it a lot a really really nice set of loungewear and i like the fact that it's not too thick either it just feels soft and lightweight um oh and this bit is elasticated as well so you can kind of like i just sort of tucked it under a little bit so it looks like it's tucked into the bottoms um yeah really nice Really nice little set. Okay, next I've got on the Calvin Klein crop top and the black leggings. So I'll start off with the crop top. I got this in a medium. I think I mentioned that before. I'm wearing it in a medium. It comes up small, like I am a 32B and I would say I could even have sized up to the large. So I, like you can see that it's kind of like pushing me, pushing me up. <laughs> um, so I would definitely say to size up in this one. But apart from that, really really nice like I like the nice thick waistband it feels comfortable and then these are the leggings on and they are such a good pair of black leggings they're so thick they feel really supportive they feel really comfortable like they're definitely squat proof <laughs> sorry that's so unflattering and you can see all my shoes scattered around um but they are definitely squat proof like they're really really thick really comfortable um and yeah a really good alternative to like nike leggings or anything more expensive these were i think they were just under 20 pounds i think um but like i said i'll leave them linked below just to quickly show you this is the other calvin klein bralette on but as you can probably tell this is a little bit small for me i am wearing it in a size small and i could definitely do with the medium like it's just it keeps riding up at the middle and it feels a bit more revealing than the other one um but i wanted to show it to you quickly anyway just so you could see the shape of it and just so that i could kind of give you the feedback on what size to go for i do really like it but i'm going to swap it for a size medium um just so that these triangles come up a little bit higher and <laughs> cover me up a bit more okay i didn't think i was going to say this but this has got to be my favorite bralette out of all of them it is so so comfortable it's so soft i don't want to start like stroking myself um but it is honestly so soft it feels really really lovely and comfortable it feels like it's still supporting you but in like a nice comfortable way um, it's a really nice shape. It's quite like, I like the fact it's a little bit longer. Um, it's a little bit higher as well, so it's not too revealing. Um, and then I even really like like the lacy bit at the back. I just think it looks really pretty. Oh, and it also comes in black as well. I'm just playing around with these and opening them up a little bit so they look a little bit better. Um, I have just grabbed this vase to put them in, but I need to get some more vases. I, I was going to put them in. I've got another one that's kind of more round and kind of um, just a bit more of a modern shape, but I'm already using that. I didn't realise I've got that one in the hallway um, with actually some real eucalyptus in it, actually. I'll show you it in a minute. But anyway, I thought I would just pop these in here for now and see how they look. Okay, I've just realised that that vase definitely needs a proper clean. It's got all like water lines on it. Um, but I think they look really nice now they've all kind of been splayed out a bit more. I might get some faux flowers to sort of dot in between it. Um, but I do think they're really lovely and I like the kind of tone of the leaves. And I think they look pretty, pretty good for faux. I've just popped the book up on the kitchen shelves, but I don't know if it actually works up there. I feel like it looks a little bit lonely on its own, just kind of propped up. So I might put it on the coffee table or something or stack it somewhere else, um, but I'll leave it there for now. Okay, I've got a little pile of PR packages that arrived yesterday. Well, these three arrived yesterday. This one came, this bottom one, can you see it? I don't know, there you go. This big white one came last week, but I haven't actually properly looked at it yet. I just took the box off because 
the recycling was coming and I was like, right, let's get rid of that big box. Um, hang on, let me just get a cushion to sit on. <laughs> That's better. Um, I've kept my leggings on, by the way, the uh, Amazon ones, and honestly, they are so, so comfortable. Um, but, like I said, I've got three boxes here. I'm going to start off with this one because it is already open and it arrived like that. It literally arrived completely open. Like, I'm pretty sure everything's still intact, but it was open. It is from Espar and it is some skincare. I love the Espar body creams. Um, and actually, last week I used the, I think it's like a pink clay hair mask. And it was really really lovely like the packaging of their body care is gorgeous i've actually got three in that bathroom there like on the bathroom shelf and they, they've almost got like in fact i don't know if the packaging will be the same of these let's have a look no it's not um but this is a cleanser a serum and then there is a detox detox mask an optimal pro skin moisturizer I used this ages ago and it's really, really nice actually. I think this is in, yeah, this is the same packaging that I was telling you about. Well, apart from without the orange, but the lid is the same. Um, but I think, yeah, yeah, I've used this before. Oh, it smells beautiful. It literally smells like a spa and it's really like rich and moisturizing. And then there's also an overnight glow enzyme peel. So some bits from, new in bits from S Bath. Oh, we've got some bits from Laura Mercier. I feel like, this is gonna seem like it's an ad, it's definitely not, but I feel like I've literally featured Laura Mercier makeup in my last three vlogs. But I've been using the tinted moisturizer recently, like literally every day, and I absolutely love it. I have been mixing it, mixing it with a little bit of foundation recently, only because like for days that I'm filming, or just to make it a little bit lighter as well, because it is a little bit dark for me, um, but I'm loving it. Anyway, they have sent over two blushes, so let's have a look at these. First one is called Passion Fruit. Oh, that's really pretty. How gorgeous is that? It's like a really lovely, pale, pale sort of peachy pink. And then this one is called Watermelon. Oh, that's gorgeous as well. They're very similar, one's slightly more peach and one's more pink, but they are absolutely lovely. I think I prefer this one. I feel like that in the spring will look gorgeous. It's like a little flush of color. Oh, I'm gonna try that out tomorrow. And then there's two lip glosses, lip glass glasses as well. Um, we have got Baby Doll. Oh, that is gorgeous, that's very, Spring as well. I love a coral lip in the spring. I'm gonna. Oh, it's. Oh, it smells. Oh, it smells like vanilla. It smells like vanilla cupcakes. Oh my goodness, that literally smells gorgeous. I mean, I can't. Okay, I have still got a little bit of lipstick on from earlier, but. So pretty it's almost like it's like peachy but with a slight shimmer to it um and then the last one they sent over is another lip gloss and this one is oh okay so it's kind of more like a metallic -y nude like a bit more of a paler nudey beigey metallic -y. it's called rose gold rose gold accent Oh, it's a package from Bare Minerals. I have actually got a Zoom meeting with them. I think it's tomorrow, actually. Yeah, tomorrow. Um, so I think this is probably for that. Oh, how cool is that? It's like a little suitcase. Um, oh, excited for you to join our Bare Minerals and Clean Beauty Ambassador, Hayley Bieber. I've got a Zoom meeting with Hayley Bieber. Justin Bieber's wife. Maybe he might be like hanging around in the background. Um, meet our newest clean skincare and makeup delivers proven results, plus learn how we're giving back to people and the planet. So, 
Oh, wow. Oh, blimey, there's literally a box full of skincare and makeup. So there's the Ageless Face Cream, Ageless Night Cream, and a Ageless Phyto Retinol Night Concentrate. Oh, and an eye cream as well. And then there is lots of makeup bits. So there's some brushes. I've actually already got that brush and I use this for concealer and it's really, really lovely. It's like a little fluffy under eye concealer brush. A... Sorry, my battery just ran out. Um, but I, yeah, I have literally got a box full of goodies. I don't know if we're going to be trying these out on the Zoom or if I can try these out beforehand. Oh, that lipstick looks really nice. It's like a pink, I love Bare Minerals lipsticks. Like I've got one in the shade Grace that I wear a lot. This is called Memory and it's like, kind of looks a little bit like Velvet Teddy. It's like a dark sort of nude. That looks really nice. Um, some blushes, mascara. Um, this is the Strength and Length mascara that everyone raves about. I actually prefer the, um, oh, what's it called? Bare Minerals, the one in the gold packaging. Oh, I can't think what it's called. I'll link it below. It's one in the gold packaging. I've spoken about it before. I prefer that one to this, but this has got like a, this is serum infused, so it's meant to make your lashes grow as you use it. Um, a brow gel, a long wearing eyeliner, um, an eyeshadow palette. Oh, I'm gonna have fun playing with these. I might do like a full face of Bare Minerals tomorrow morning and try it all out in one go. This is like a little eyeshadow palette. I mean, I don't really tend to wear a lot of eyeshadows, but that is lovely. That is like the perfect tones of eyeshadow. Um, oh, and like a bright kind of pinky lipstick. I don't think I own any lipsticks in that color. This is in the shade Wisdom. Oh, okay, it's kind of like, like a dark sort of bright pink. Dark, bright pink. And then this is the final box that I quickly wanted to open with you guys. This is from River Island. I did open this. Like I said, I opened the, took the box off it, but I haven't actually like opened inside it. There's still like sealed bits inside it. And you can see I haven't actually properly looked in there yet. But I think this is, I think they sent this over to me for Valentine's Day, but I'm just very late in opening it. So it's like a delayed Valentine's gift. Um, but there is like a matching ribbed cardigan and then this looks like okay so it's like a little off the shoulder off the shoulder ribbed top and then matching leggings as well i think personally i would probably wear these leggings with a white t-shirt and then the long cardigan over the top rather than the off the shoulder top oh gray and rose tea bags nice oh i've wanted one of these a one line a day book. I've seen these on like Instagram. I've seen people raving about them. So literally you write one line a day basically, but you'd write one line and then the following year you'd write the line underneath it and then underneath it and, th and then you can see exactly what you were doing that day, the previous year. Oh, what a lovely idea. I love that idea. I actually saw these on Amazon, I think they had them. Um, and I was actually gonna buy one, but I didn't. So thank you so much River Island. Um, then there's a little white box, which again, I haven't opened. Oh, wow. It is a candle. Another thing that I have seen a lot of on social media recently are these like basically naked candles. Oh, that smells really nice. Oh, it smells lovely. <laughs> It is a naked lady candle. I've seen these like dotted around like home accounts a lot recently. Um, and I didn't even know they were from nudists, but cute. I mean, I can't really say cute as a naked lady, is it? Cute. <laughs> you look cute. <laughs> I'll pop her somewhere. And then the final thing in the box is a rocker box, which I don't know if that's a similar sort of thing as a glossy box. But it's got like lots of little bits in there. So there is a rose lemonade. Oh, I might drink this now actually. A nip and fab eye mask. Um, like a lip tingle. Crabtree and Evelyn face foam. And a little body butter. So I think this is a similar kind of concept as a glossy box. 
I am going to make myself a drink. In fact, I might actually have this. Yeah, do you know what? I'm having it. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, it tastes like Turkish delight. Oh, that's so nice. Literally tastes like rose Turkish light. Mm, I'm going to pop that in the fridge. Right, I'm going to tidy all this up um, and I'll chat to you in a bit. It's just gone six o'clock and I am just making dinner. I'm doing a shepherd's pie because Lou requested one basically. Um, I texted him earlier saying, do you want chicken or shepherd's pie? And he chose shepherd's pie. So I'm making a shepherd's pie. You can probably hear the onions sizzling away. Um, Lou's just got in from work. It's a little bit later today because he went to give blood after work. So he got in after giving blood and then he basically I only had sweet potatoes. I didn't have any. I only had sweet potatoes and two potatoes, so not enough. So I said to him, would you, like, would you rather have, sorry, just stirring me onions, would you rather have sweet potato mash? Oh, that's gone steamy. <laughs> um, basically, he didn't want sweet potato mash on the shepherd's pie, so he's gone to get some potatoes. So he's just nipped out to get potatoes. I'm listening to an episode of Case File. It is a podcast I've recently discovered, and I'm loving it. I'm really, really enjoying it. Like it's for when I'm cooking or like if I'm doing housework, it's really good. I've just finished listening to episode 91, which is about a girl called Carly Ryan. Um, my favorite episode so far, I've only listened to about five or six, I'd say. Um, I basically Googled the top 10 episodes. So I think there's about 200. So I Googled which ones were the best and then I just listened to the ones that had the best reviews. Um, but Daniel, Daniel Morcom, I think it is. I think it's episode 54. Let me just Google it quickly. Case 54, Daniel Morcom, that's the one that kind of like got me the most just because, well, I mean, it's, it's like, it's basically about serial killers and like true crime things, but Daniel Morcom is like, I mean, I won't, I won't tell you the plot, but if you like that sort of thing, then listen to it but obviously like I said it is a bit like disturbing I mean there's some blooming sick sick people out there but um yeah definitely worth listening and some of the episodes have got like interviews in from the killers so whether that's like yeah they've got interviews in them and it's really interesting really really interesting how they catch them out especially that one um so I won't give anything away but watch it I'm sure you'll enjoy it um so yeah i'm going to crack on with my spaghetti bolognese in fact i'm going to ring my granddad actually i ring him every evening around this time but i didn't ring him yesterday so he won't be happy with me so i'm going to ring him hi granddad it's only me <laughs> How are you? I bet you wondered what had happened to me, didn't you? You thought I'd forgotten about you, didn't you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you, my lovely. How are you? Can't complain. But I will. <laughs> you were about to say that. <laughs> Until your place, but now the crown is shaking. 